um, I'll echo what the president has said. The, the two key points, Kelly, number one, security. That is absolutely essential. Uh, and this is being discussed and it's being looked at intensely uh, by review processes inside the, inside the government. But security is essential. We do not want the Chinese government or the Communist Party or the Chinese military to have access uh, to very significant and important personal information, which might open the door to even more information. We want to stop that. It can be done, but it's being looked at very, very carefully. Uh, and the bidders, uh, principally Oracle right now on the tech side, um, are working with uh, us internally to sort that out. I can't give you a conclusion yet. The other point is ownership. The president wants U.S. ownership of the new co, if there is a new co. And um, again, I can't get ahead of that story, but that's being examined very, very carefully. I mean, look, th there is a process. It's ongoing. It's evolving. Um, I don't want to front run, but I think the president suggested some optimism about it, but it's not a done deal, is, that's is for it, sure. Larry, there, there's one thing, though, I, I would love your philosophical stance on, though, before we go very quickly, but we had Hu Shi Jin, son of the Communist Party mouthpiece, saying, hey, we, we don't mind what the U.S. is doing with uh, TikTok. It could be a template for how countries deal with multinationals going forward. What happens if China in a few years' time says, well, Apple can kind of play by our rules if TikTok can play by yours? Well, look, we, we, we can't control what China does. I mean, the Chinese government has said time and again that with respect to their companies, their private companies or whatever the public, uh, quasi-public companies, but in any case, the government has said they have a call. They have access by law on information from those companies. They can call on it at any time. And that is unsatisfactory to us uh, with respect to operations in the U.S. And again, the president said this many times. Uh, Secretary Pompeo said it. Mnuchin said it. I've said it. Many others have said it. So that's a key point. And we're not going to accept uh, anything less uh, with respect to the TikTok deal or, for that matter, other deals. Uh, we are being tougher. China has a terrible record here of, um, of uh, hacking and cyber hacking and interfering and espionage. And, you know, we've talked about structural changes in the trade deal yeah. with respect to IP theft and forced transfers of technology. You know, the trade deal is being engaged. But I'm saying on this particular deal with respect to uh, ByteDance and TikTok and Walmart and Oracle, these are key considerations. We have to have those considerations. I think the American public doesn't want uh, anything less. It's a matter of protecting security. And by the way, you know, we've argued, I've argued, uh, we have to take a look very carefully now at Chinese companies who are listed here in the United States. Uh, we had a uh, presidential memo on this from a financial working group mm -hmm. that the issues of fraud and lack of transparency down through the years as raised by the uh, Public Accounting Board and the SEC are going to have to be resolved in one year. And if they're not resolved, and that includes backup papers, uh, then uh, we will have to look at delisting uh, yeah. some of these companies that don't meet our criteria. I mean, I just want to say that uh, on all these matters, we're trying to protect the health and safety of the U.S. and the economy. I mean, right now, coming out of this dreadful pandemic contraction, uh, we're still dealing with it. The economy is coming back. There is a V-shaped recovery. You've heard me say that before, and I think the data show that. We just had great numbers on living standards, on household wealth. Today we had good numbers on uh, housing sales. That's excellent. So we think this is going to go forward, with or without a stimulus package. But right. overhanging this, with our dealings with China, we must protect American workers, uh, manufacturing, technology. We must protect our family jewels. We must protect our innovative uh, efforts. We're the most inventive country in the world when it comes to technology. Technology drives the economy these days. Yeah, 100 percent. So yeah. I think you can't, you know, you, you certainly can't blame us for being even more careful. I think it's been lax in prior administrations, and President Trump has tightened it up enormously. And this TikTok deal is um, part and parcel of that. All right. Well, again, the effect remains to be seen in the years ahead. I'll put this up there with the Supreme Court about what it means for American multinationals and so much more. But for now, Larry, we'll leave it there. And thank you so much for your time today.